One of the challenges in managing a uh, limited water scenario is deciding when to apply your water to get the most bang for your buck. Here at Marvale in the CSIRO breeding program, we often use partial irrigation to uh, we get better data out of our rain-fed breeding trials. We've conducted these experiments over about a six year period and we've gone back through and had a look at that data to see the best time to apply that irrigation to get the most yield response out of that water. What we found is that under scenarios where you have enough irrigation water for one in-crop irrigation, uh, the timing of that is really vital in terms of getting uh, the best yield response. And the timing of that irrigation is usually around the peak flowering window. Now this peak flowering period can mean different things to different people, but what we define it as is about that two to three week period after first flower. Because this is when the majority of your fruit load is being set and this is where your yield is being made. And essentially if you can reduce your water stress during this period, you have the, the most impact on the most fruit, which will eventually relate to the higher yield. This research shows that it's really important to hold your nerve in terms of when to apply that one in-crop irrigation. If you go earlier, the deficit isn't there in the crop, you're not applying as much irrigation water, and also the crop isn't physiologically there to, to develop the fruit that's gonna support yield.